live from Galilee, the Valley of Armageddon, right over there. And uh, just wanted to give you something very urgent. Uh, these are breaking news, basically. I'll wait a few seconds for you to connect. And then I will report. But uh, I did a, a, a short experiment a couple days ago when I told you I told you that uh, we found a shocking piece of information that we didn't know, um, which is that Christians between the age of 35 and 60 uh, tend to believe that uh, if they watch something important, everybody else is watching it, therefore they don't share. So I, may, I did a short experiment and I said, oh, you know what, why don't you share with one person? And out of the blue, 2,300 shares of actually something that was not even a message, just a request to share. So these are breaking news, and I, I hope that you will share it, okay? I really hope so. So again, uh, folks, this is Amir Tzalfati. I'm from Galilee, from Israel. The Valley of Armageddon is right here, as you can see. And... Um, <clears throat> Wanted to give you an update. Okay, so yesterday, if you follow me on Telegram, and I hope all of you will go and get it, because both Facebook and YouTube are not a safe environment to report important news anymore. Go to Telegram, follow me there. You subscribe to, it's a free channel. It's the largest news channel from Israel. Now watch this. Let me explain to you what happened yesterday. Yesterday, the Russians sent um, mostly from the uh, from submarines in the Caspian and the Black Sea. They sent 60 cruise missiles. They are waiting for some shipment of of suicide drones. Um, the ratio of uh, Suicide drones is like out of every, I think out of every uh, 30 drones, six hit the target, the rest are thwarted. So right, so the Russians use uh, caliber cruise missiles and yesterday's damage to the Ukrainian grid was so bad that half of Kiev is without electricity and major cities are also completely out. This is an emergency. But let me tell you the situation right now, okay? And I hope that you are sharing it right now. Share it with at least one person, okay? Let's see if it works. So folks, watch this. As of this morning, the US intelligence and the US administration are having growing fear. Watch this. Normally they're afraid of stuff that the Russians will do. Now they're afraid of something that the Ukrainians are going to do. And this is the attack of the, the Russian bases in Crimea and an attempt to take over Crimea. Look, when Putin took over Crimea in 2014, he, he, he followed a referendum that supposedly said that everybody there wants Russia to control. Putin said more than once, whatever the end uh, 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 the outcome the end outcome of, of the war is going to be crimea for sure is part of russia it's not even a question the fear is that the ukraine is now with its back to the wall without electricity without any way to even go through this winter the fear is that the ukrainians who have right now um, the momentum the fear is that the Ukrainians will try to take over Crimea and have no, not only a moral victory, but also tactical, vi tactical victory that will <clears throat> signal that they are not even willing to give up a square inch, even from past uh, conquests. The U.S. is afraid, and I'm talking about reports from this morning. The U.S. is afraid that Putin will feel with his back to the wall and will use nuclear weapon. We already saw a nuclear 
missile that was already lowered to its um, launching pad. Uh, and we know that it's um, it just you know it could be used at any given moment, folks. The prospect of a nuclear uh, strike on Ukraine, as of this morning, is something that the U.S. and Western Europe are extremely afraid of. Putin made it very clear: we will do whatever it takes to defend our. Uh, territory and he made it very clear that he made even his nuclear arsenal ready to be used again the ukrainians feel like there is nothing they can lose they need the victory the russians are making very clear that nuclear strike is on the table and the americans are sh almost convinced that putin will do that this is the situation right now on the ground and again i am reporting tons of information on telegram if you're not on telegram go to amir Tsalfati. that the, the channel has three hundred and seventeen thousand subscribers subscribe it's free and it's the largest and the most accurate news from middle middle east israel and of course from the region and you have tons of news there okay and again the power apparently is in your hand what we've learned is that <clears throat> Facebook and YouTube bank on the fact that conservatives don't share. I, I did an experiment a few days ago. I said, look, try to share this short message of my request for you to share. <laughs> share it with one person. Within two days, 2,300 shares, which means everything I say and report, do not assume that others are watching and that others know about it unless you share at least with one person they might not even know please share share about my telegram channel and share about these news look uh, i'm not sensationalist i i when there's nothing very major to report i'm just trying to stay away from it but this is something that i've been watching for the last 48 hours and as of this morning it's not only an assessment of the British or the Germans. This is even the U.S. intelligence. So please, uh, let's see what's going on. But uh, Ukraine cannot afford itself entering into the deep winter without power, without electricity. Either they are going to have to evacuate their capital, which means it's almost a declaration of defeat, or they're going to do something spectacular in, <clears throat> in the form of do, having whatever they can um, aim towards Crimea, which is what they've been doing lately. So, hey, uh, share this with as many as you can, and I'll see you on Telegram with many more news from this area. Thank you, and God bless you, and Shalom from Galilee, from the Jezreel Valley, Armageddon.